took Val to the vet today and um, his poops were perfect. Yesterday I'd given him Benabac and digestive biscuit and I've withheld all his vegetables. So he's constantly begging and I feel bad about that. They also gave him a bath um, <laughs> because they said there's so much dried poop on him. And it's like, yeah, I know. I, I mean, last night I cleaned him off twice with baby wipes, but you know, apparently it didn't do what it was supposed to. I'm sorry, Val. I know, honey. And I'm, I'm going to my job, my Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday job, which is church, of course. So I have church choir tonight. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. That's why my funky rings are in there. Aren't they fun? Ow! Yeah, that'll teach me to be vain, huh? You'll think my finger is a pink carrot, right? So um, I have mixed the, the Sherwood pellets with my other pellets. They came as a gift, you'll remember. And, um... I'm going to use my Chewy gift card to order good stuff for the guinea pigs soon. I, I did use my Amazon Prime today, $10 off. But it was for me. I was selfish. Sorry, but yeah. Sometimes you need things. So, you know how it is. Right, Lena? Yeah. So I'm, I'm hopeful that things are going to improve now because in the past four days, I've lost two piggies. I lost Grayson and worst of all, I lost my Lila and I miss her so much, but what can I do? I had to do the right thing. Um, it was uh, my favorite exotics vet, Dr. Gary, who saw Val today and I told him that Lila had passed away because he treated her too. He said, I you made the right decision with the euthanasia. And when I told him that she couldn't walk, he said, well, whatever she had was pressing on her spine. So he thinks she had some sort of cancer inside that was pressing on her spine and made her paralyzed. So just from his experience with many, many years of treating all kinds of animals. So... There's Daisy. Yeah, I picked her up. I held Daisy today. I held Rosie. Rosie's in... Yeah, I know. Rosie's in Lila's pig, Lou. She misses her. Yeah, and there's Mama Mocha. So, yeah. Anyway, let's hope for the best, everybody. I'm so tired of, you know... I know, compared to people dying of COVID or whatever, it's a small thing, but to me... You know, when your guinea pigs are a huge part of your life, like mine are, well, you know what it's got to be. I don't have human kids, as you know. Not that I didn't want them, they just didn't show up. And uh, so forth, so, yeah, yeah. So I decided to go with fur kids, that's right. <laughs> well, everybody take care and paw prayers and... I'll see you later. Bye.